a large bowl from a hollow sphere. You know, bowl, you eat your ramen, you drink your soup. A small spherical ball is placed inside the bowl and it's going round and round and round and round at a horizontal speed. So the ball is going around in a constant radius, ah, so we assume the speed is not changing. It's a perfect stable circle. The forces acting on this ball is weight, normal reaction, as shown. So this one, you kind of like a cross-section area. You see, you cut like this and you draw this thing here like that. Okay, so the ball is getting pulled down but also have reaction force and it's going in a circle. By resolving the reaction force into two components, show that the resultant force on the ball is this equation. Oh, you got tangent again. Ah. What to do? Ah? Okay, so take take how much? Ah? How many minutes? What is how many? Two marks. Take two minutes. Head start. Try out this one. I will discuss at 2.25-ish. If you finish this one earlier already, you can go on to the next part to until this year. But two minutes, try it out. Draw the forces, resolve. Remember, I've got horizontal, got vertical. Okay, let's see what to do with this marble in the bowl. How to resolve, how on earth are you going to get this tangent theta? We're going to stick with our skills that we looked at just now. So resolve into horizontal and vertical. Both are perpendicular to each other. That's what they're saying here, la, perpendicular components. So let's start with the horizontal. Okay, where, where, where to write? La? Horizontal, let's write here. So R is going to have a horizontal component yeah, and a vertical. Slanted, ma. it's not exactly horizontal, not exactly vertical. W, le? W is fully vertical already, so we don't care about the W. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see. So horizontal, we have only one force. Huh? What? Only got one? Ah? This is going to be R adjacent hypotenuse cos theta. Money? Only got one force. Ah. Okay. I guess that's it. There's only one force. R cos theta. Hmm. A bit lonely, ah, this fellow. So, on the other hand, we have vertical, a bit more eventful. Vertical. 
Vertical force got something point up, this is R, Y. Something point down, that is W. So whatever point down equals to whatever points up, R, Y. Ah, now got friend. Got some point down, some point up. So pointing down at W up here will be R sine theta. This component here, R sine theta. Okay. And what do you want us to find again? Tangent theta. How on earth are we going to find tangent? What is the F? Curious. This resultant force acting on the ball. Got resultant force, man? You see in the vertical, oh, they are balanced. They cancel up. Whatever point downwards equals to whatever point upwards. Balanced already. But then the horizontal is unbalanced. Oh. Because this R cos theta is pointing to the right. So, that would be the centripetal force already. Oh. There's only one force pointing to the center of the circle. Remember, this is a circular path. We are going right around. So, if I want to draw the R cos theta, something like this. R, I have to draw here, Rx. Ah. So, your Rx is going to be the unbalanced force, which is centripetal force. So, centripetal force is Rx, which is R cos theta. I just rewrite it again. Ah. And centripetal force is the unbalanced force, so we call it F. The resultant force is centripetal force, which is Rx. Equate, equate, equate. Okay, so we have this one. We have this two. Unbalanced force is R cos theta, so that equals to that. All right, so now what to do when you see tangent? Think of tangent is sine over cos. So we are going to divide sine over cos. Let's call this equation one. Equation 2, we divide 1 over 2. So on top, we will have W and then R sine theta. Okay, divide by whatever at the bottom. This is F R cos theta. Do you manage to reach this stage? Hopefully you got some. Okay, so in the other day, R and R cancel out. Sine divided by cos is tangent. And this one is just W over F. Yay, we managed to get rearranged a bit. Then got already. This is F tangent theta. Okay, two bucks for this derivation. The first one is if you got right the vertical, this is one. You got right the horizontal, that's one. In the end, you divide together. There's no marks lah, but A0. <laughs> they put your A0. When they say A0, it basically means maximum 1 if didn't write a final line. You can write this final line or not. Right until the end, if you manage to reach that. Okay, so remember, uh, you see tangent means got horizontal, got vertical, divide. Horizontal, vertical, divide. But this question very rare, uh, this type of circular motion questions. Once in a very long while it comes out. Okay, last part. Let's zoom out so you can see the whole thing. State the significance of F for the motion of the ball in the bowl. Why was why must we have this F, which is this thing? If you don't have F, what happened? Hey, your ball wants to go in a straight line. Eh? All this mass, uh, anything that has mass, always go in a straight line until some other force push it. So you could write something like this. The force F, yep, keep the ball traveling in a circle. Uh, the, the F, which is really contact force. They call this resultant force. Lah. Okay, lah. so okay, 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 okay. right here. So the resultant force we know it's called centripetal force. Shh. Provide centripetal force. We show that, oh, we know it's centripetal force. And why, why we need centripetal force? Force for a ball to move in a circle or in circular motion. By the way, if on Teams or you see the screen too small, you can zoom in or did you know? If you're on... 
desktop, a uh, laptop, you just do the zooming fingers, the two finger zoom. If you're on desktop, you hold control and you scroll your mouse. You should be able to zoom in on my screen share to see things bigger. Just a tip in case you didn't know. Okay, so if you mention F provides centripetal force. They kind of understand. Lah. Like if you want to see centripetal force means you must have a force in order to go in a circle. So that's all you can say. So yeah, zoom in if you, you find that it's too small because I zoom out a bit. Hex for teams. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll uncover more hacks as we go along. Okay, last one. Three mark question. Give you, give you three minutes to try this out. Now the ball moves in circular path radius R. For this radius, angle is 28 degrees. So they're giving you data. Calculate V. What equation to use? How to use? Tip, you will want to use the one we derived just now. W equals F tangent theta. Just start by writing the equation now. Okay, la. right here, FC equals to cos velocity V. So we just write here MV square over R. Okay. Uh, then what? Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on my writing here a bit more. We Do we know the centripetal force? Not exactly. Huh? There's not enough information. War. Wait, 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 wait. Centripetal force in the previous section, they call it F, the resultant force. And from the previous, we got this, uh, what was the idea? F, what was my equation? F, w equals to F tangent theta. They're the one they asked us to prove. Ma. So we can rearrange this. F equals to W over tangent theta. Yes, we can plug that in right here. Okay, so let's plug it in. From the previous part, w, equals w over tangent theta is our good old mv square over r. Now we can plug in everything. Good. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. W is mg. So mg over tangent theta equals to mv square over r. Mm, now we can plug in. m and m, you divide both sides by m, the m is gone. So we only have g, which is 9.81. Tangent 28 degrees equals to v square over r velocity how fast are you moving ah uh? oh sorry we want to find that okay 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 find v radius 14 cm wow must convert to meter because we want meter per second so 0 0.14 meter be careful got meter here eh, i think that's it right okay so we press calculator I got, when I press calculator just now, 1.61 meter per second. So you can write 1.61 or just 1.6. So one mark if you got right somewhere the mv square over r to show. Oh, actually I know, I know. Centripetal force, which is the resultant, is mv square over r. Then if you go sub in the correct values, then correct, 9.81, 28, and 0 0.14 meters and lastly final answer a one a for accuracy